the report paints a gruesome picture of daily, daily life for disadvantaged or abandoned children in industrial schools, reformatories and workhouses. Religious and lay staff ran severe oppressive regimes where cruelty was commonplace and punishment beatings a daily occurrence. But not all children were abandoned. The grim litany of sexual and physical abuse covers more than 100 institutions around the country. Here at the Artane Industrial School in Dublin, the Commission found sexual abuse of boys was a chronic problem. Children constantly felt under threat and fearful. At the Golden Bridge Industrial School in Dublin, punishments and the implements used were cruel and excessive. Children were in constant fear of beatings and in many cases were beaten for no apparent reason. The Letter Frack School in County Galway was also a centre of abuse. Here, physical punishment was severe, excessive and pervasive. Again, sexual abuse was a chronic problem. St. Conlet's Reformatory in Dangan, County Offaly, was described as an anarchic institution. The physical abuse of boys in Dangan was extreme, says the report. Children were brutalised by the experience. This huge investigation has its roots in the abuse suffered by Christine Buckley and other children here at the site of the former St. Vincent's Industrial School in Dublin's Golden Bridge. Christine Buckley first went public with her story in 1992, setting in motion a long series of events. More cases came to light, and in May 1999, Ben Taoiseach Bertie O'Hearn apologised on behalf of the state and set up the Commission of Inquiry. It was merely motive. decided on today is not a break with the past, it is a facing up to the past and all that this involves. This may well, this may well help to be a painful process but it cannot and should not be avoided. Also in May, Miss Justice Mary Lafoy was appointed to head up the inquiry. In October 2000, the government agreed to compensate victims of institutional child abuse. In December 2003, Mary Lafoy resigned from her position, frustrated with the Department of Education. Senior counsel Sean Ryan was appointed as her successor. In May 2004, the Sisters of Mercy apologised to those who suffered abuse while resident in their institutions. And in June of that year, the Christian Brothers dropped their legal actions against the Commission, which goes on to hear from more than 2,000 witnesses before producing today's final report. This afternoon, the first reactions to the report were issued to the media. The Christian Brothers apologised openly and unreservedly to those hurt by what it called the deplorable actions of some brothers. Another apology came from the oblates of Mary Immaculate, who ran the school in Dangan. And Education Minister Bat O'Keefe extended his sympathy to those who suffered and promised the government will carefully study the findings of the report. Stephen Murphy, TV3 News.